Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can add an image or picture to our Qt GUI application. Now, basically, Qt doesn't have any widget specially to include pictures. So we can use a label for this purpose to include pictures. So for example, I have uh, created this login application in the last video. If you don't know how to uh, make this login application, you can go to the last video which I have made, right? So what I want here is I want to add a picture at the left hand side of my uh, sign in uh, widget here right so in this area i want to show some picture so my application uh, look little bit professional right so what i can do is i can just uh, go here and search for a label and then i can resize this label right and in this label i want to add a picture so first of all i will just remove the text because i don't want the text inside the label so now we have this label now there are two ways of including pictures uh, to this label one is by code and other is by using these properties so let's see the first uh, way of uh, adding the picture so first of all I'm going to change the object name of this label so I will select the label and I will name this uh, label as label pick for example so I know that this label is for the picture right and then I will go to my edit view and I will uh, go to main window dot cpp because this is my uh, login window right and in the constructor what I'm going to do here is first of all I need to create an instance of qpix map so I need to include this header first so just include qpix map here okay so just write qpix map and this will allow us to uh, you know create a qmix pix map uh, object which takes uh, one argument so let's create a qpix map uh, object first so just write qpix uh, map which is this one and we are going to create an object for example a pix itself and this takes basically one argument which is the location of your uh, image right so we are going to give the location of our image so what I have done is I have uh, an uh, default image which is saved at a particular location in my computer so what I can do is uh, I can just copy the path of uh, this uh, location here and then add it to this argument here with the double quotes something like this okay so just copy the path where your picture is located something like this and then just paste this path here now in here for windows we need these uh, opposite uh, slashes these slashes uh, will not work for you so just use these kind of slashes right which is backslashes right and then uh, the location and then the name of my picture so my uh, name of my picture is login icon dot png file right so i can just copy the name of the picture and then forward slash login icon dot png with the extension right now you can use this uh, object to set the picture so you just need to write ui and access the label for the picture which is label pick in our case and then you can just set the pix map so just call a method called set pix map and then pass this object there in the pix map constructor okay so these two lines of code will add the picture to your uh, label so now let's save our code and uh, run it so i'm going to run my application and let's see what happens when our application runs 
so our app is running and you can see uh, this picture is set on uh, this label but there is one problem this picture is not resized according to the size of the label so in order to resize our picture what we can do so I'm going to close my application so in order to resize my picture uh, to some scale what I can do is I can call a scale method on this pix object so this uh, pix object we have passed in set pix map function right as an argument so you can just uh, call a method called uh, dot scaled here and then what we can do is we can provide the width and height so for example if we want to resize our, our image 200 by 100 pixels so you can just give width and height here as an argument and the third argument here will be qt keep expect ratio so just call qt and then call keep aspect ratio here okay so this is going to keep your aspect ratio okay so let's run our application once again and let's see if the image is resized or not so you can see the image is resized when uh, we uh, you know give this kind of uh, scaling uh, property to the pix object right now for example you want exactly the same size as your uh, label for the picture then what you can do you can get the width and height of your label and then apply to your uh, pix object so how you can get the width and height of your label you can just define int uh, for example first of all width we will get the width of our label and then just uh, call ui label and then call a method called width here so just call width and this will give you the width of your label in a same way you can call a method called height which will give you the height of your label so here declare a variable called h and this time we are going to call height here right so just call height function which will give you the height of your label and then you can pass instead of this hundred you can pass the width and the height here for your label so this will resize the image according to the width and height of your label right so once again run your code and let's see what happens and you can see this image is resized according to the size of our label right now there is another way of setting the image to the label which is using the pro properties right so I'm going to comment this code this is one way of setting the image and the second way of setting the image is once again I'm going to go to my main window.ui file and in here I will choose the label and then just search for pix map property here okay so in the fil filter when you just write pi and it will give you the pix map property here right so this property you just uh, need to click here and then choose the second option which says uh, choose file okay and from here you can just choose your file which is your image the location of your file right and now this image is uh, you know set here but still you can see the size of this image is not uh, you know perfectly fitting our label this you can fix by just setting the style sheet property here but we haven't learned this uh, style sheet property how we can set this style sheet or provide the styles to our uh, widgets so I'm not going to uh, show you how you can resize the image you can uh, just use the you know code uh, way of uh, you know resizing your image right so I'm going to uh, just revert this uh, image I'm going to remove it from uh, the label and I will just use this code to set the image in the constructor so something like this so this is how you can set the images in your uh, Qt GUI application now in the next video I'm going to show you how you can provide the resources or resource folder in your Qt GUI application.
because for now you can see this location is coming from my computer which is not good for our application when we transfer our application from one computer to another computer this location will not work so we need a fixed location and there is a way of uh, you know providing this fixed location in Qt using resources so I'm going to teach you how to use resources in the next video so I hope you have enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and bye for now